on uh, the train now. Great press conference here. Looking forward to a big show in Sheffield and try and get it done. Go into everything Sheffield when we've got a little bit more time tomorrow. Very pressing. Um, this rematch clause between Dillian White uh, and Anthony Joshua. Now AJ's team, I believe, are saying, fuck the rematch clause. We'll go straight into that fight August 12th. When I asked you and Frank last week, you said you think it's unlikely the fight happens. If I said gut instinct now, what would you say? I imagine you've got to move very fast. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, look, firstly, a lot of people talk about rematch clauses. When there's a, a, such a huge A side in the fight, you have to do your job as a promoter. Like every huge name that I've worked with in boxing has a rematch clause in their fights, right? Secondly, it's me that requests that. And let me tell you the main reason why. Anthony Joshua is about to fight Deontay Wilder for, I don't know, 50, 60 million dollars. He's choosing to take a dangerous fight a few months before, where if he loses, he's really quite out in the wilderness and also loses the Wilder fight in December. So, if we're giving that opportunity to someone else, of course we're going to look for a rematch clause. Not against my will, but probably against my advice, Anthony Joshua came out last night and said, I don't give a fuck about the rematch clause, I'm going to knock him out. So just tell him to sign a contract, give him a, a complete simple contract. You know, Dillian White replied and said, I'm not going to do any promotion around the event, I don't want a rematch clause, this blah 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 blah. So we've just gone back now and just given him Dalton Smith style promotional requirements no rematch clause, August the 12th, done. The worry I have is I send that email and 10 minutes later, Sky Sports News are running a story and it's like, do you want this fight or is this some kind of other mission to land another fight or I don't know. So the great news is now is they have the contract, no rematch clause, August the 12th, nothing, absolutely nothing in the contract of any regard that's gonna cause anyone any problems. Let's see. I don't think they're going to sign it. I hope they do. And AJ wants this fight bad. It's the fight that he wants. But we want to announce on Saturday. It's Thursday now. We've got 48 hours. I'm not putting a, I don't want to put a deadline because it starts rattling people. But the deadline's on us to announce the fight and other opponents that we've got ready to go. So I know Dillian loves a big fight. It's there for him. Hopefully he signs. Are you disappointed? And those are the words of Eddie Hearn, as you guys heard, along with me, that Anthony Joshua wants Dillian White to sign the contract. He doesn't even care about a rematch clause. F the rematch. Let's get the fight on. Tell him to sign the contract. Dillian White, of course, doesn't want to uh, do any type of promotion for the fight. Let me counterpunch. Based on what Eddie Hearn is saying that Dillian White said, this is sounding too, too familiar in big fights. What do I mean? Well, Dillian White stating that he doesn't want to promote any, promote the fight at all and doesn't want to do any type of endorsement for the fight. You know, it just shows me that Dillian White in his own way is just being as difficult that he possibly can. Because he did the same thing with BT in Queensbury. When the Tyson Fury fight was on the table for him, you know, Frank Warren was fuming. He was livid that Dillian White wasn't trying to promote the fight. He wasn't trying to promote the fight. He wasn't trying to do this. And then, you know, Dillian White's lawyer got involved. And, you know, Frank Warren threatened to uh, sue Dillian White and the money that he received, he wouldn't receive if he didn't promote the fight on his social media because, you know, Dillian White has a pretty big social media following. And it's crazy that we hear that again from Dillian White. Now, the narrative was Dillian White didn't really like the idea of Queensberry or BT. But now... This is a Sky Sports involved fight. And we still get the same attitude from Dillian White. So you're like, okay, so what's really going on here? Okay, we give you a pass when you're being anti-social or anti-promotional promotional, uh, last year with Tyson Fury. But now a fight that, you know you're angry or you're bitter or you you just don't like the way everything's run, well, don't sign the contract. But if you sign the contract, 
do all the requirements that you want to take to make the fight a success. Because to me, it seems like I'll take the fight, but I'm not going to do all these other things and I'm going to uh, make it as difficult as possible for each side of the party. Listen, if he wants the if he wants the revenge, take the fight. He wants to avenge his first loss, take the fight. You know, if he could if he could beat Anthony Joshua, I think it would be well worth taking the fight. And Anthony Joshua was to the point like, hey, I think I'm gonna knock him out because I I think that AJ knows that he can knock out Dillian White for one. He's done it already for two. He ain't been the last person to do it. Okay, it's been two other guys and three other guys that have been that has dropped Dillian White. You know, whereas, you know, Dillian, I think his punch resistance is far from gone. He didn't get hit with an uppercut in his last fight, but he got buckled with a right hand. So probably not only is his chin gone, everything else is gone with it. So AJ's probably not even worried about a rematch clause, but Eddie Hearn being him is doing his job because that big uh, Deontay Wilder fight is on the horizon. Okay. And then on top of that, Saudi Arabia doesn't even really want him to take that fight because it's too risky. If you got guys that are going to put millions of dollars up for a venue for these, for a fight to that magnitude for two former champions, I mean, millions of dollars, you know, I would be worried too, if I was in their shoes, like what if Dillian White comes in there? Cause he's already training in Miami or Florida somewhere, right? What if he comes in ready for anything and he takes everything and gives everything back to AJ and beats AJ? Well, that's going to be a catastrophe for a lot of people because see, Dillian White wants, hey, I want it if I beat AJ to go right into a, a Deontay Wilder fight, which wouldn't be bad either. But at the same time, you know, everybody really wants to see AJ and Deontay get it on. But nonetheless, Dillian White is there to disrupt that. You guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn stating that Anthony Joshua doesn't care about a rematch. Let's get this fight started on, sign the contract, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace!